Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we wanted to cover some importing issues and how you might resolve them, specifically with Outlook on Mac. We've heard some common issues and we're just gonna talk through what could be wrong and how you might go about fixing it. Before we get started with that, if you're interested in purchasing Office or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the very first thing that we're gonna address is that if you are dealing with the issue of the import and exporting functions being grayed out, meaning you can't press them in the file tab, we have a video specifically addressing that. And if you wanna watch that, click right here. If that's not your issue, we're gonna move on to talking about some potential importing issues that are relatively common for Outlook on Mac. So one point to check is that, is your Outlook version compatible with the PST file? The latest version of Outlook for Mac is only gonna support importing PST files that were created with Outlook for Windows 2010 or later. So that's the first thing to check. If it was created with an earlier version, it may not be compatible and you might have to do some sort of manual importing and exporting. All right, next up, we'd recommend you check if the PST file is corrupted. A corrupted PST file can prevent you from importing it into Outlook on Mac. You can try using a third-party tool like Stellar Repair for Outlook, and this would attempt to repair the PST file, and then you could try it again. Uh, next up, we recommend checking if the PST file is password protected. So if it's password protected, it'll require you to enter that password before successfully importing it into Outlook on Mac. So if that's the case, make sure that you have the correct password. Now the next thing is a damaged Outlook profile. This can prevent you from importing PST files and the way to check against that is to try to create a new Outlook profile. Try importing the PST file and see if that works. All right, so we've covered some things to check. On top of that, we're gonna include some support links in the description where you can follow along with some troubleshooting tutorials. If you have any specific questions about any parts of this process or if there's something else that we can cover that would be beneficial, let us know in the comment section below. A like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated and it helps make more videos like these possible. Again, be sure to check out Indigo Software if you're interested in purchasing Office or other Microsoft software at a great price. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.